He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. So let's check out some questions about molality and mole fraction. So the first question is 3.0 grams of a salt with a molecular mass of 30 atomic mass units is dissolved in 250 grams of water. What is the molality of the solution? The second question is a sample of syrup with mass 214.2 grams contains 34.2 grams of sugar, which has the formula C12H22O11. Calculate the molality of the solution and the mole fraction of sugar in the syrup. And then the third question asks, calculate the molality of one liter of sulfuric acid solution that is 93% mass per volume if its density is 1.84 grams per milliliter. So a few different questions here. If you don't remember what molality is, you're going to want to check out my tutorial on colligative properties. And when you're ready, give this a try. So let's take a look at this first question here. Let's first recall that molality means moles solute per kilogram solvent. So it's a little bit different from molarity. We're dealing with a mass of solvent here instead of a uh, volume for the solution. So let's take our three grams of salt, and we know that it has a molecular mass of 30 atomic mass units, which means it has a molar mass of 30 grams per mole by definition. So we can convert this into moles by multiplying by one mole over 30 grams, and that gives us 0 0.1 moles. So we have a tenth of a mole of this salt. And so we have our mole solute. Now we need our kilograms of solvent. So let's take our 250 grams and we just need to get that into kilograms. So very easy. We just multiply by one kilogram over 1,000 grams because there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram. And we make sure to put grams on the bottom so that grams cancel. And we get 0.250 kilograms. And now all we do is place moles solute on top and kilograms solvent on the bottom. That's going to be 0 0.1 moles over 0 0.25 kilograms. And that means we have a 0 0.4 molal solution. So that one was pretty straightforward, just dealing with the definition of molality and plugging some things in. Now for the second one, we're going to want to figure out something about the molality and the mole fraction associated with this sugar solution. We have a, we have a syrup, essentially, so we have some sugar and some water. So uh, the first thing we need to do is figure out how much of each thing we have. So we have a mass of sugar, and we have a total mass for the entire syrup, all of the syrup, so we should be able to take the difference and get how much water we have. So 214.2 grams of syrup minus 34.2 grams of sugar, so that's the part of the syrup that is actual sugar, or sucrose, that leaves 180 grams of water. So that's what this solution is. We have this mass of sugar in that mass of water, and that gives us our total mass of the syrup. And so now we want to get the moles of solute. So let's take our 34.2 grams of sugar, and let's multiply by one mole over 342 grams. That is the molar mass of sucrose. That's what we get if we add up 12 carbons, 22 hydrogens, and 11 oxygens. And so if we do that math, we find out that we have 0 0.1 moles of sugar. So now we are ready to get the molality because we have the moles of solute and we have the kilograms of solvent, or we have the grams anyway, so we just divide by 1,000 to get that into kilograms. And so 0 0.1 moles of solute over 0 0.18 kilograms of solvent, and that gives us 0 0.56 molal for this solution. Now we want to get the mole fraction of sugar in the syrup, 
And so in order to do that, we need to know the moles of solute, and we also need to know the total moles of the solution. And so we're going to need to convert our mass of water into moles. So let's take our 180 grams of water, and let's multiply by one mole over 18 grams. That is the molar mass of water. And so we do that, and we find out that we have 10 moles of water. So now, in order to get the mole fraction, once again, we're finding out what fraction of the total number of moles is represented by the number of moles of the thing that we want. So we have our 0.1 moles of sugar, and we're going to divide that by the total moles of everything in the solution. So that is both solute and solvent. So the total moles is going to be our 10 moles of water plus our 0.1 moles of sugar, right? All of the moles of everything. And so we have our 0.1 moles of sugar divided by the total moles, which is the 10 plus the 0.1. And if we do that math, we find out that we get 0.0099. So that is the mole fraction of sugar in this syrup. Now for this third question, again, we're looking for molality. And this time we're given a volume here for the solution. And so what we're going to want to do is let's take this density. Let's use this density to get a, a mass because we know that we're going to need a mass of solvent. So let's take our one liter and let's express it as 1,000 milliliters. We know that there's 1,000 milliliters in a liter and we do have a density with milliliters in it. So we do need milliliters here. Let's multiply by 1.84 grams per milliliter so that milliliters cancel and we will get grams. We get 1,840 grams, which is the same thing as 1.84 kilograms of the solution. Now, here's where it gets a little bit tricky because we don't want the kilograms of solution. We need the kilograms of solvent specifically without any solute because that is what molality requires. But we know that we have a 93% mass per volume uh, solution here. And so that means 93% of those 1,000 milliliters will give us the mass in grams of sulfuric acid. So in 1,000 milliliters, that means we have 930 grams of sulfuric acid. So what we need to do here is let's take our 1.84 kilograms of solution, that's everything in solution, both sulfuric acid and the solvent, and let's subtract from that the 0.93 kilograms of solute, right? We just calculated that that is the mass of sulfuric acid that is in the solution. So if we do that subtraction, we find that we have 0.91 kilograms of solvent. Right, so the concentration, the 93% mass per volume, told us how much sulfuric acid was in there. And so by difference, we found out that we had 910 grams of solvent as well. So those are the two components in solution. And so now, we, now that we have a mass for the solute, we just need to get that into moles. So let's multiply by one mole over 98.1 grams. And so that way we have 9.48 moles of sulfuric acid. And so now we have everything we need. We have the moles of solute and we have the kilograms of solvent, right? Just the solvent itself, not the total kilograms of the entire solution. So 9.48 moles of sulfuric acid divided by 0.91 kilograms of solvent gives us a 10.4 molal solution. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.